Hello beautiful beings, welcome back to my channel. I have a very special video today, as you can see in the title. This is going to be an explanation on I aming and the God state. So I have, I think my favorite Neville book, and it's called At Your Command. Um, if you want to listen to the audio lecture of this book, I narrated it on a previous video on my channel. You can take a look. And even if you have it playing in the background, your mind will start to absorb some of the information. This book is a treasure. So I'm going to be reading two small portions that are relevant to this. And in case you have the book, um, or this version of the book, this is on page 14. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still a little sick. And it says, All of your present beliefs, fears, and limitations are weights that bind you to your present level of consciousness. If you would transcend this level, you must leave behind all that is now your present self or conception of yourself, concept of self. To do this, you take your attention away from all that is now your problem or limitation or circumstance and dwell upon just being. That is, you say silently but feeling to yourself, I am. Do not condition this awareness as yet. Just declare yourself to be and continue to do so until you are lost in the feeling of just being, faceless and formless. When this expansion of consciousness is attained, then within this formless deep of yourself, give form to the new conception by feeling yourself to be that which you desire to be. Now we're gonna go and read another little chapter where he kind of goes a little bit more into detail about that. <clears throat> and this would be on page 33. And it says, to launch out into deeper waters, you leave behind, you leave behind you all that is now your present problem or limitation by taking your attention away from it. Turn your back completely upon every problem and limitation that you now possess. Dwell upon just being by saying, I am, I am, I am to yourself. Continue to declare to yourself that you just are. Do not condition this declaration. Just continue to feel yourself to be and without warning, you will find yourself slipping the anchor that tied you to the shallow of your problems and moving out into the deep. This is usually accompanied by the feeling of expansion. You will feel yourself expand as thought you were actually growing. Don't be afraid for courage is necessary. You are not going to die to anything by your former limitations, but they are going to die as you move away from them, for they live only in your consciousness. In this deep or expanded consciousness, you will find yourself to be a power that you had never dreamt of before. Okay. There is a lot more to that, but we're gonna leave it at that. So that is called I aming. For you to go into meditation and silently say to yourself over and over and over, I am. Now a little bit background information on that is in the understanding that I am that I am is your true self and it is the goddess or the God within. It is explained 
and understood that God is within you. The kingdom of heaven is within you. So when you start I aming, you're literally calling forth the God within yourself. Now, I aming can take a little bit of practice, um, but it's so worth it. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, I mentioned on my success story of how I manifested my person back the first time that I did I aming and I felt that that was one of the things that accelerated my manifestation. And I did it right after reading at your command. Um, it took it took me about two hours of I aming before I started to feel that sense of expansion. I don't think that there is a clear way to understand the feeling that you get. It's like, it's like you feel this power. You feel this huge power just start to rise up within you. As Neville says, it's kind of like an expansive feeling. You start to feel like you're growing in stature. It's kind of like the God within you is unfurling, waking up from its sleep and it's starting to stretch their arms and really showcase to you the power that you have within yourself. This is extremely powerful. Um, it is... I would say it is the strongest way for you to manifest because a lot of the a lot of the times why we go back and forth between our manifestations is because we doubt our ability to be able to manifest the things that we want. And when we make it a habit to spend time with our I am it kind of gets to a point where there is just no doubting because you start to acknowledge the power within. Um, this is something that I feel we all need to do a little bit more often. Um, the book also says, it, it has a little line that says, believe in the God within yourself, but also believe in yourself. Um, because it goes hand in hand. You need to start to cultivate that belief within yourself that knowledge within yourself that you're worthy and good enough to have the things that you desire. And one of the ways that you cultivate that power within is really just letting your I am, you know, wake up. Let that I am come forth. Let that I am swift you away from your problems or limitation and show you what they can really do. Now, what happens is that when you start I aming and you start to feel that expansion, you will notice that your mind is literally, you're leaving your limitations away because when you, re when you reach that space, it's like a formless space. You can't even remember what your problems were. You're in a different level. So a lot of people in that space, or what I have done is I start combining your I am with what you want, right? That is when you actually connect your desire with your awareness of being, which we now understand that it is the God within. Because just to say I am wealthy or I am loved, right? If we do know that it has an effect, but when we do it this way, it's like a thousand times stronger because you're first acknowledging the I am that it is within you. Sorry. And once that connection is created, you're attaching your desire to that I am. So you're connecting them. People that are more seasoned in this are able to, they're able to visualize while in this state. And like I said before, this is something that has to be practiced because at the beginning, when you're able to actually reach 
this formless state. It's actually even hard for you to even think of anything, you know, let alone hold a visualization together. Um, a lot of people actually fall asleep, so it takes practice. Um, but it's even just I aming. It's just when you come back from I aming, even if you don't condition it to anything specific, it's already a super boost for yourself. Another way to, I think, think about it is when you are in this formless state, when you feel this expansion, you feel this unconditional love. You have never felt anything like this. This is different. This is divinity. This is bigger than yourself, bigger than all of us. The sense of unconditional love that you will feel from your creator is something that could bring tears to your eyes because a lot of us in this journey have had struggles with self-love or feeling loved. So for you to have access to unconditional love in that way, just by that itself, it's such a worth, it's, it's, it's just, it's treasure. That's all I can say. It is amazing. I remember when I did it, and I felt the expansion and it, I, I think my third eye was even throbbing. Um, I couldn't think of anything. So all I did was say, I am love, I am love, I am love. And when you're in this state, everything that you attach to your I am becomes a feeling. You feel it. That's why Neville says you feel the consciousness. And I remember feeling this energy in my heart center as I continue to say, I am love, I am love, I am love. And I think it was late at night, I finished, I, it was like a surge of happiness. It was, you, it's just, you will be a changed person when you do this. And I remember I went to sleep and the next day I received so many, so many little things that I had never received before. I even, I got a car ride to my job. I, I got free lunch. I got all these things. Was I asking for any of it? No, but it was confirmation that I had drastically lifted myself out of the state that I was to a higher state. I had dramatically lifted my vibration to a higher level. And I think I received my specific person manifestation within three days of doing this. Um, I had never felt power like this before. And let me tell you, three days after doing that, meditation and I was minding my business watching a movie I had just gone shopping I remember I wanted to do something nice for myself and I went and bought some things and I was trying them on and in my mind I was pretending that my specific person was there and was telling me how nice the clothes was fitting me so I was you know, I was pretending that my person was there with me. And then I went to something, ate, was watching a movie. I think I was doing my nails when my phone rang and it was him. And I think I almost dropped my phone in the water. <laughs> that is how sudden this was because I had sent the original message and we were a little bit in communication here and there, but through text, this was the first phone call that I received from him to tell me he was on his way to see me. So this works. And taking the whole specific person thing out, 
this is who you truly are. That huge, that grandiose power, that is who you are. You know how sometimes you're just minding your business and you get like flashes of, of you doing these amazing things? If you have, leave me a comment below and tell me all the wonderful things you had had glimpses of doing. Maybe you thought it was a separate life. To me, it's just glimpses of who I truly could be. Sometimes you get, you could be just doing anything and you just get a glimpse of you doing all of these wonderful things that in reality you never thought you could do. That is who you really are. That is who you really are. You are limitless. There are no limits to what you can achieve. The work is just being consistent with the reprogramming the mind, with having a specific aim. And I would say most importantly, learning to cultivate, to believe in yourself and believe that you're worthy of love and having these things that you want. As a reminder, I do offer coaching. I have introductory prices because I want to work with you. I want to see you thrive and do so much better. I want the best for all of us. Give it a try. As I've said before, you know, I'm a law of attraction, law of assumption coach, a mindset coach. I come from a trauma background, which means that I know how to work with trauma. And just give me a chance. Let's work together. Let's see how much we can do together. And until next time, bye.